today's thought is from Luke 1 verses 21 and 22. Meanwhile, the people were waiting for Zechariah and wondering why he stayed so long in the temple. When he came out, he could not speak to them and they realised he had seen a, a vision in the temple for he kept making signs to them but remained unable to speak. It was a great honour to be selected to burn incense in the temple. It would only happen a maximum of once in a priest's lifetime. And so for many, and for many, it would never happen. It would not take long to offer the incense and it would be presumptuous to hang around in the holy place. So the priest would then come out and join the other priests on duty in pronouncing the benediction. Zechariah did not set out to have an encounter in the sanctuary. It was such an important occasion in his life, serving in the temple, that he was probably not thinking about his family or the lack of it. But the encounter with God took time. The people were waiting, but they just had to wait. Meeting with God involves spending time. And it's all too easy to become so routine and familiar with our worship that we just go through the motions in the least possible time, not taking time to linger in God's presence. But God still had plans for Zechariah and Elizabeth. They had probably long since given up praying for a family. They are described earlier as righteous in the sight of God. But Zechariah had not believed the angel, but instead had asked, how can I be sure of this? Virtually asking for proof. What had gone wrong? We are not told, but perhaps over the long years of routine worship and apparent unanswered prayer, their love for God had cooled and their relationship with God was no longer the same. But Zachariah's meeting with the angel changed all that. Meeting with God always changes things. They were to experience the joy of the birth of their child. They were to play an important part in God's plan for the world. And after John was born, Luke tells us, Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesies. His prophecy was filled with praise, joy and worship. And we can still read that in Luke 1, verses 68 to 79. Meeting with God always has consequences. Zechariah did not believe God's message and ended up unable to speak for several months. Hebrews 4 tells us that we can approach God's throne of grace with confidence, but we do need to remember who it is we are approaching. In Zechariah's case, there was long-term mercy and joy, even after short-term discipline. And like Zechariah, we need to spend time to keep our relationship with God fresh, even through long periods where this may be difficult. We need to remember that, like for Zechariah, God has a plan and a purpose for each one of our lives in building his kingdom. Maybe the long years seem difficult and there may be times when he seems remote or that he has to discipline us. But through Jesus, we have the advantage of access to God if we will take or make time to meet with him. In Zechariah's case, the worship of the National Temple had to wait for Zechariah's meeting with God. Meeting with God always has consequences and meeting with God always changes things. And like there was for Zechariah, there will always be joy at the end.